Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to Marguerite Miller week 18. This week we are looking for something that people collect and for that I chose my pandas. I have a whole collection of pandas and um, they're my favorite animal. I wish I have seen them live only once in a zoo and I, I love pandas. I have several stuffed pandas so something that people collect. A geometric shape with at least five sides. Uh, my daughter makes D&D &D dice, gaming dice, um, and let's see, we have a D20 there, we have a D10, we have a D D6, we have a D4, we have a D8, a D12, actually I think that might be, and that's a percentile die. So yeah, we have, we have more than five sides. Something that features a clock or time-related element. So the first thing, of course, I got was a watch. And then I thought, uh-uh, time-related element, we need to do persistence of memory. Salvador Dali, there's a print. Text in a foreign language. Uh, Cigna Health, every year, every day, every month, seems like, I don't know, all the time, is sending me statements, and they always do... We have free interpreter services to answer any questions you may have about our health or drug plan. And then they put it in all these different languages. I coffee dye this often and use it in my uh, as, as backgrounds and different things. But there we go. I have all those different languages. Something with a spine. Humans have a spine. This, and I will tell you that this part is almost in a foreign language. It's supposed to be English. But there's so much Latin over here, I could probably just have gone with this page. And bonus, a flower. These are some stamps my mom, I don't know, my mom or my mother-in-law, they both have had a tendency to give to different charities, and they would send them stickers and um, things like that. So my flowers, I have all of these stickers. And I have... I have lots of these. This is just one page, but I have pages and pages of these. So let's figure out how to put things down here. I don't know if I'm going to use both of those, but blue is obviously my color that's kind of pulling things together uh, as far as theme goes. Kind of like these. I don't, I have to keep the spine whole but I can do it this way. This is out of a Grey's Anatomy, uh, out of a book. I bought it at a book sale for like, I don't know, not even a dollar. I think it was 75 cents for this huge book. And I've given a couple pages of it away. I kept some pages. There we go. I think I like the spine right there. But that's not to say I won't use some more of this. Um, let me get some pages out of here. Or some pieces. This is Korean. That I am taking off here. We could just put the Korean down this way. bring it up a little bit we get to see the word Korean. I don't know if I like that on there or not. Where's my persistence of memory? I kind of like that better mostly because I've got two rectangles here and I, I kind of like although that fits very nicely with the curvature of the spine. Yeah I think I'm going to save persistence of memory. I'm doing a time journal so I have a lot of time things at the moment. Okay, and then I could just put the flowers everywhere and everywhere, anywhere and everywhere. Okay, let's start gluing some stuff down here. I didn't do a separate background because I think I'm going to cover up everything anyway. So, and I'm using my whole, this is a notepad that I have that has pandas on it. And um, I don't, I tend to use it very sparingly. I've had it for years. And I only write short notes to people on it. 
and obviously I'm putting a page of it in here. I probably should have put that behind, but that's all right. I want this piece behind. There we go, and it didn't quite, I didn't quite get that corner. There we go. So I hope everyone's doing well on this Marguerite Miller day. Make sure I'm high enough. Oops, we got a little overlap here. There we go. I know that I don't have too many people that watch the Marguerite Miller challenges. I tend to go out and look for them for other people so I can see what they've been doing. Um, but I know it's not really everybody's cup of tea. I like that this has the page number on it. Okay, I want to make sure. I, yeah, I had that up high enough, but. All right. So, yeah, I will put the link down to Mythic Imperfections, which is my daughter's shop. Um, and she does, in fact, sell her dice. She does a lot of craft fairs with me. So, where's my list? Sorry, I have lost my list of, oh, it's underneath my pieces. Okay, so we have something that people collect, a geometric shape with at least five sides, something featuring a clock. Okay, where did my persistence of memory go? Oh my glory, I have lost my persistence of memory. My Right now my desk is more of a mess than it usually is because I have two different projects that I'm working on at the same time. Okay, it's not there, it's not there. I have this clock. Okay, I'm going to pause for a minute. I know it's on this table somewhere. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. I remembered. I put it aside because I decided I didn't want to use it. Duh. Boy, it's one of those days today. I hope the day doesn't end up being like that all the time. I wanted the circle. Because I wanted the curve and the circle. You got it. And the numbers and the numbers and the number. Yeah, I have, I really do have a plan here. Okay, there's only one on here that has a blue anything on it. But I think we're just going to have to go with some other colors. I don't know if I like it up there. I think maybe we'll just make... A row of them. I do like the yellow because it's got a little um, butterfly on it. There, so I've got some flowers. But we need more flowers. Like I said, I have a lot of these little stickers. So let's bring some, since we're bringing color around, I've got a little flower on here as well, but it's very small and hard, very easy to miss. Okay, this is a different butterfly, but let's go ahead and bring you up here. Cover up that word. Okay. Am I putting too many of these on? One more, I think, over here balance. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So odd numbers, those are good. If you want to keep odd numbers, we're going to get rid of most of this page so it doesn't take up as much room. And we are done. Oh, you know what we didn't do? We didn't put our thing here. 
I don't want to cover up that flower. Well, then we're going to do the same thing we did last week. We're going to put it on the flip side. Come on. I closed up my glue. Just putting you on the flip side and grabbing a pen. <coughs> Sorry. Mm, that still has the point on it. Haven't used this pen yet. And going, boink. So now it matches. I know that it goes for that one over there. All right. If you are enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit like to let YouTube know that you like them. You click on the bell if you want notifications for when the next video comes out. Have a great weekend. And this is Cindy signing off.